So to download the Office 2013 preview, let's open up Internet Explorer and navigate to www.microsoft.com forward slash office forward slash preview and press enter. And this is the Office Customer Preview page. If you scroll down a bit, you should see a little button towards the bottom that says Try. Clicking on Try will take you to a screen that looks just like this. And this will give you kind of an explanation of the different versions of Office that you can try out. There is a Home version, a Small Business version, and an Enterprise version. If you just want the Office applications, that will be the home version that gives you Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, OneNote, Access, and Publisher. There's a small business option that gives you a little bit more that will include also Link, as well as professional email, multi-party HD video conferencing, a public website, and shared documents. Now the Pro Plus Preview version includes all that stuff, but also allows you to get enterprise-grade security, side-by-side -side support for previous versions of Office, and IT controls that let you manage Office on your terms and with your tools and processes. Now any one of these versions, you can simply click the Learn More buttons to learn more about each individual package. But for the purposes of this demo, we're not going to go through all of those nitty gritty details. That's another lesson in and of itself. We are just going to click on the Try button for the home version. So clicking on that. The next question will ask what country you're in. And I'm in the United States, so I'm going to click on United States. And since I'm already signed in with a Microsoft account in Windows 8, it kind of bypasses the step asking me to sign in with a Microsoft account. Now, if you are just signed into a local account in Windows 8, then it might ask you to sign in. But since I'm already signed in, it takes me to my Microsoft account for the login. You can see up top it says Heather Ackman. And I can access my account or sign up from here if I like but it will show me my current PC installs of the Office 365 Home Premium Preview. And that, by the way, is pretty much the same as Office 2013, the next version of Office. And as of right now, Office 2013 or Office 365 Home Preview gives you up to five installs, so you can install Office on up to five devices. So to use your first install, Let's go ahead and click the Install button, and then it will begin downloading Office 2013 right to your device. Now in Internet Explorer, you might see this little pop-up down here that where you, it gives you the option to run or save. I'm just gonna click Run. Now after a quick security scan, it will take you directly to your desktop and bring up a user account control. And let's go ahead and click yes. We do want to download this to our device. And that's pretty much it. It will begin installing and configuring Office for your machine. Now what they've termed this is called click to run, which means once you get past that initial phase, you can begin using your Office applications before everything's been downloaded and installed, which is kind of cool. So right now it's going through the configuration process. You can see it's actually fairly fast. We'll give it a bit more time though. Now right now we're at 62% and it's saying streaming application features. Depending on the speed of your internet, this process could take a little bit longer or be really, really fast. And the next thing, it will begin this welcome screen. It will connect you to your account. And that will take just a little moment. Now this might take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video and we'll return when it's finished connecting. Now once that we're connected to our account, next we click, well, next. 
The very next screen will ask you to say whether or not you want to send information to Microsoft. And again, they use that information to improve this version of Office. And since it's in preview, I'm going to help them out and say, yes, send us information. Or of course, you can choose no thanks. Clicking either option will highlight the accept button in the lower right hand corner and you need to accept the Microsoft Office License Agreement. Again, to read that agreement, you can simply click on License Agreement. I'm just going to go ahead and accept it. Immediately, it will begin playing a video. So after a short marketing video from Microsoft telling you all about how wonderful Office is, you will be met with this welcome screen. Hello and your name. And again, it's getting your name from your Microsoft account that you signed in with. And the very first question it will ask you is how you would like your Office to look. So very similar to the Windows 8 installation, it, you can personalize how your copy of Office looks or appears to you. So there's none. Or you can choose from any number of styles, and it just adds a little doodad at the bottom for calligraphy. There's circles and stripes, circuit, clouds, straws, and tree rings. I like the circuit, so I'm going to choose that. And then click Next. The very next screen is a splash screen explaining SkyDrive. Office, just like Windows 8, is designed to be integrated with SkyDrive. So when you are creating a Word document on your computer, you can save it to your SkyDrive folder, and that way you don't have to have your device physically in front of you to access that Word document. You can be on a friend's computer, at the library, on your Office machine, and just go to SkyDrive.com sign in with your Windows or your Microsoft account and access that Word file. Things do have to be saved to your SkyDrive folder or your area in order to access them in the cloud. So that's what it's explaining here. Let's click Next. And now I am getting a something went wrong message. It was not able to download the Office introduction. I've actually encountered this once or twice before. So on this particular day, it's not working. It does give me the option to go online and take a look at that introduction, but I am just going to skip it for now. And now it's going to finish the installation of Office. So right now it says wrapping things up. You can use Office now. Even though it's not done installing, you can open up any one of the applications and begin working. Certain features may not be available at this time. It depends on whether or not it's finished installing or downloading those features. It is streaming it, so you do kind of need a really good working internet connection. But let's try it out. Let's jump to our Start button and scrolling all the way to the right. Hey, look at that. We have a bunch of new tiles added to our start screen. Let's go ahead, open up Excel. So we can see, even though it's not done installing, we can still use and open Excel 2013. Let me just open up a blank workbook and I can begin typing a formula. Let's type an equal sign, two plus two. There it is, Excel's working, even though it's not done installing. That's kind of cool, I think. And you can scroll through all the tabs and check it out. It might be a little sluggish depending on, again, what's downloaded and what has not. But there you have it.